Uh, recording. Recording. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So, welcome to Smart Maps Meetup uh, monthly. This is our third session. And uh, today, we'd like to uh, talk about uh, several different things, including the UNPT portable. Okay, so at first, I'd like to welcome new participant uh, to the session, or uh, of course, uh, if you want to uh, introduce yourself again, yeah, please do so. So, and uh, I think, but this time, is there anyone who, who want to introduce yourself? Maybe, yes, this time uh, we know each other well. Okay, then uh, we move to forward. So first thing, uh, I would like to uh, ask Shobo uh, to introduce uh, your UNBT portable project uh, because uh, you have a lot of things already done, uh, done uh, with the UNBT, uh, with Raspberry Pi, and we are really excited uh, to uh, do the workshop uh, in Kosovo uh, using the UNPT portal. We have the workshop just before the UN OpenJS meeting uh, in, I think, Tuesday. So uh, we would like to know more about uh, your recent project and maybe we can discuss what we can uh, combine effort uh, with each other uh, using your great project. So, so do you want to uh, share your screen and uh, start a presentation? Okay. Okay, please. I stop the sharing. So I'll okay. I'll send uh, my oh, my slide on the like Zoom chat. So please check it. Okay. Thank you. Um. Can can you see it? Yep. Now I can see your screen. Okay. It started. So thank you for the opportunity to today. So like I will uh, introduce briefly about the UNPT portable. This is offline web map server uh, based on the Raspberry Pi. So um, this project is uh, adopted by uh, UNGIS Open uh, UN OpenJS initiative. And uh, this is uh, like kind of be, kind of the main project of us. So my name is Shogo Hirasawa. I'm a graduated, uh, gl postgraduate student on, on second year, uh, University of Tokyo, and uh, so my professor, so professor of uh, Magakuin University, Taichi Furuhashi, this is a member of the uh, UNB Portable. So yes, this is a briefly uh, explanation of UNB Portable. So UNB Portable is a package for Raspberry Pi. The function as a map hosting server, freely accessible from a web browser and offline environment. So for such situation, like especially like big disasters happened or or uh, developing country, such so, uh, this this situation we uh where cannot we cannot access the internet. Uh, but uh, but we can uh access the uh, modern web map uh with UNBT portable. So this is a open source project. So we can uh, you can see the this project on a GitHub. This is a public repository, so you can see it freely on a GitHub. So I will uh, I and uh, Taichi Furuhashi uh, will the uh, workshop on the first forge Kosovo, but I I already done the first workshop. On Japan, uh, in Japan, uh, like June third, uh, like two 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 weeks ago, so we all we already done the workshop, the first workshop on uh UNBT portable, and also yes, so he did not lead, uh, as I uh, as I said, so as you know, so he did not said uh like uh we uh will do the workshop or uh, we'll we'll also uh, do an also workshop in the first project 2023 on the Kosovo. So this is uh like schedule. The my workshop is uh two hours so 27 on July uh uh start time is uh 2 p.m 
so this two hours so like now uh maybe you can buy a ticket on this workshop so if you have no interest in this workshop please join us so today um i will briefly introduction to what is unit portable so like how how do how do you make the unit portable so as I said, this project is based on uh, like adopted by United Nation, so United UN Open Jazz Initiative. So UN Open Jazz Initiative have the several project. So our project UNBT portable is a sole project. So what is UNBT? So UNBT is the collection of an open source software opens out uh, to produce host style and optimize vector tile for web mapping. So UNBT, so it means that it is toolkit. So UNBT have several toolkit. Uh, now, so UNBT portable is a focus on the hosting services. So now we can choose the some several options: GitHub Pages, UNBT portable, MapLibre, Mapbox. So this is one of the uh, like services of the UNBT uh, UN UNBT type toolkit. Yes, so like this is uh maybe you can you can hosting the GitHub pages also, but so you uh GitHub pages cannot we cannot access the in offline environment, so we can make the this uh web map server so UNBT portable this is a uh, web map server we can use in the offline environment. So when you can use the UNBT portable, uh, you can see in a such uh, like modern uh, web map. This is a uh, like a uh, Kanto region of on Japan. So like this is a uh, like kind of the we can use the whole uh, the open data. So like uh, left one uh, left uh, bottom of left is a municipal data of the uh, evacuation center uh on the we can use also uh we can use the data of the, of the from nasa this is uh, like a satellite imaginary or uh japan uh aerospace uh expulsion agency jaxa uh, uh like give us the like, same data or something so when you can use the like even portable and the combine the several uh, open data, so we can we can see the uh like kind of a web modern web uh web map uh even though that we cannot you ca you cannot access the uh, internet. So this uh like this web map server is necessary only necessarily on the like electronics so we can so you cannot use the like no uh, no special skill or tools or required just scan the qr code on your smartphone and so we can use uh you may be portable can you uh use the only open data only so uh like so sometimes uh like some people say so google maps or so, some enterprise maps can do the like offline maps, but so like some enterprise maps cannot use the uh like we cannot use the freely because of the uh a lot of the regulation. So on the other hand, so, uh like when we portable is not this is an open source project and uh, we can you can use open data so like you can use the freely. And uh, on the other hand, like UNB portable is so cheap, so like you can uh you have to only pay the 15 us dollars something up around the 15 dollars yes maybe so like we can uh, uh so like cost is hardware it's mean it means you raspberry pi only so like software data is so freely so like if the like uh developing country can uh, make can made uh, build up the Raspberry uh, Pi you want to be portable. So this is a uh, uh, most strongest uh, point on the Raspberry uh, Pi. Uh, sorry, you want to portable. So this is uh, next. I will uh, introduce the design. How to use it. So like partly, so you you can pick up your smartphone and turn on the camera and uh scan the qr code so if 
scan the first QR code, your smartphone and USB portable the connect directly with uh, using a Wi-Fi. Secondly, uh, you can use a second QR code. So when you can scan this QR code, you can see the like web map. So this QR code means like uh, uh, this QR code, uh, like uh like shows the uh html file on the unb portable and also we can uh we can success the uh we can uh we can gain a geo location current location using a uh like gps receiver so raspberry pi can uh it is easy to the connect the uh UNB portable to the US uh, uh, GPS receiver. So if you you cannot when you cannot access the internet, but uh, you can we can we can receive the uh, geolocation on the uh, like some uh, situation, for example like uh, developing country and uh, so big disaster happen. So this information, so using this information, so maps and geolocation, so we can. Uh, discuss some uh, like for for big disaster happen and disaster situation or in a developing country and situation or something. So like uh, in the workshop of the post 4G, so like we can uh, we will teach you uh, the how to make the even portable. So this is a like briefly a uh, poster. So like venue is ITP please them the UBTDL112. This is a uh, maybe room. So it's so if you have time, uh, please join us. So this is a like briefly, uh, yeah, workshop detail. So and also like we will uh we already opened the uh how to build how to make the UNBD portable on GitHub. GitHub uh, repository. So probably so some some people want to join the workshop, but uh, you cannot join. So please uh, check check it up the uh, our GitHub repository. So thank you. So this is uh, our uh, this is my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Shogo, for the presentation. Um, yes, thank I'm, you. Uh, I'm now really confident that we will uh, do a really successful uh, workshop uh, in Kosovo. And so let's move on to the question. Uh, and I received a question from, uh, yeah, Rahul. Uh, the, his question is, can we use OTG option functionality here to sub maps offline? And actually, I'm not really sure about the meaning of the OTG. OK. Uh, hi, Henry. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Rahul. Yeah. Rahul. yeah. So in an Android phone, we have an option where we can connect the okay USB or something like using the OTG. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, Raspberry Pi is not available, I think, with me. Okay, so it is a cheaper option uh -huh. than the Raspberry Pi as well. If we okay load the tiles in the USB and we can connect using the mobile, then mm -hmm. we can show the offline okay maps. I think so. That's mm -hmm. my question. So, can we use the OTG option? OTG option. So, show what. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I cannot understand that. What is OTG detail? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, give me a minute. I will. OTG. Um, is it some technology related to. Well, is it a name of the product or. Is a kind of offering something? No, no, it's available. Okay, with the uh, in a phone, we can use the OTG cable to mm -hmm. connect a USB and a phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. OTG cable, so it's a yes. type of uh, cable. OTG, OTG cable on on the go. Ah, on the go. On the yes. go. Ah, okay. uh, okay. yeah. so like on the go. I'm giving the links here as well. Okay. Like uh, this last web, uh, this USB portable. So we we cannot, no. So we don't. So you don't necessarily to use the like cable or some, uh, like physical cable. So mm -hmm. it's uh like, we can, yeah, connect the like non-code. It means like how can I say this is a, a kind of the uh like 
Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. This is no code connection type. Okay, okay. But uh, somewhere, okay, my question is somewhere the Raspberry Pi is not available. Mm -hmm. So we have a cheaper option here. So we can sell the maps offline. Okay, USB is available. Okay, now to uh, everyone. I think. Like, so it's a yes, small cap. So like if you want to, uh, like if you want to use, you know, like some, uh, like fecal cable, we can, you, you, you can use connect, you, you can connect the, like, uh, you can connect this this uh, physical cable. This uh, we uh, we give uh, we give us the two options. So like like Wi-Fi connection or physical cable connection. So we mean we, when we use Raspberry Pi, we have several options using Wi-Fi or direct uh, Ethernet connection. And uh, Raul kindly suggested uh, another option uh, using the USB on the go technology. And uh, I saw that, uh, yeah, I think that uh, the OTG option is some different but really promising option. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would like to explore uh, some possibility to use OTG. Actually, I do not, I didn't know about the OTG. So uh, I think uh, this is a really promising future option. Yeah, Ra so I'd like to thank Raul to uh, let us know about uh, this idea. Yeah, that is my comment. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, if I may, I'd like to move on to my question to uh, Shogo. My question is in actually the chat box and uh, yeah, chat box. And uh, my question is uh, the relationship between uh, UNPT Portable and uh, your uh, research mm -hmm. activity in your university. So my question mm -hmm. is, yeah, how do you use UNPT Portable in your research activity uh, for your master degree, or is it a completely a separated project to your research? That is. Um, thank you. So as I said, so my, I am the postgraduate student. So this year is the last year. So it means that I have to. Uh, write the like master report so my uh master's report thesis is a university portable mm -hmm. like so now i focus on the like management of the evacuation center so mm -hmm. like so evacuation center have a lot of problem in a disaster situation so especially i uh, uh like they want to know the like how many people uh how many people like accommodate in each uh like e in each evacuation center in offline environment we can connect we can tell the some situation of the uh, evacuation center so how many people are there and uh, how many how many food how many order water um mm -hmm. left it so in this situation in this data i will uh i want to i want to like gathering even though the offline environment so like I want, now my thesis is uh, like uh these data are collected even though the offline environment mm -hmm. uh, so after that so like internet internet connection is uh like cured so this information is uh like upload the like internet like some, some kind of services or some uh sent to you know, like government or something so this 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 system mm -hmm. uh i want to make the in my thesis label so well, thank you very much for sharing your research interest and uh, i as i remember uh, we have uh, some other speaker for, to force 4 g about offline map editing offline map editing and uploading after the edit so mm -hmm. i think we can learn a lot uh, from phosphor g uh, in kosovo yeah um, uh, thank you very much for sharing thank you. Okay. and uh do you have uh, yeah albert please oh actually my question is kind of similar related to our um the first question about otg um is the using a wi-fi connection um like for the Raspberry pi um like how how strong of the signal like how close do you have to be to use it and is there like um, a limit on the bandwidth um for like the oh uh, yeah, yeah thank you yeah, yeah. Then this is a like great question so like uh we uh we we have not yet this uh like this research but uh so like 
I read some report. So Raspberry Pi can access the uh, 15 me 15 metal something. So like and also like this Raspberry Pi can uh, UNB portable. Now uh, uh, I was setting the hundred about two hundred devices and fifty metal. This is a like function of the UNB portable. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> uh, so like, what, yeah, 50 meter is so uh, kind of the like short and uh, like some uh, like obstacle is uh, other, uh, so like if the some obstacle are there, maybe so we can, you uh, maybe portable can connect less than 50 meter. Can you uh, hotspot uh, um, like um, connect like the uh, bridging like Wi-Fi bridging, can you connect from one yes, to the next? Yes, yes, yes. Would that extend the range or no? Um, yes, if um, like the 50 meter is uh, like basically a lot of by function. So if I want, if I uh, add the sum like a machine on like Lazby Pi, maybe uh, probably we can uh, like, uh, like, like we can more long distance but uh like this is uh maybe we can do it but also like like more expensive machine one so like this is a like trade-off relationship okay thank you so much yeah because i was wondering if in a disaster situation right um you know the 15 meter might be a little bit limit if you need to go <laughs> yeah, right 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 right, right. <laughs> now, you could take the raspberry pi with you too but mm -hmm. but you need to have some kind of power source for it too. Then, yeah, right, right, so right, right all right. these considerations. So mm -hmm. anyways, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Great answer. And do you have any other questions? Otherwise, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about Raspberry Pi. Uh, so we started to use Raspberry Pi because uh, we thought it's cheap, it's affordable, mm. uh, easy to purchase, but in reality, uh, at least these days, it is not so easy to mm. purchase uh, the Raspberry Pi because the supply is not so enough. Mm. And uh, for that reason, the price of the Raspberry Pi is uh, getting higher and higher. And uh, I see uh, that is one possible problem. And uh, so if we can find other options like OTG or other type of uh, very small PC, I think uh, we need to uh, check uh, that possibility too. And in addition, actually, uh, in I, my organization, GSI, we have uh, more than 50 Raspberry Pis. So we are really happy to bring uh, the Raspberry Pis uh, for capacity building. And I hope uh, we can make use of the existing uh, Raspberry Pi we have uh, to expand uh, the possibility of, the using, of using Raspberry Pis. So that is just my comment. And uh, do you see, have any further questions? So there are no further questions, and uh, I don't see we have comments. And uh, yeah, please, do you have uh, any further question? Yeah, uh, sure. Particularly, uh, I have a question to show. Please, please. Yeah, yeah. So sure, uh, we have a city called PCMC, Pimpri Chinchil Municipal Corporation. Okay, so that's where right uh, we are doing the property survey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have developed a mobile based application for that. Okay, and it's an uh, offline mobile mobile application. That means like um, user go to each and every house and it collects the property related information from the owner. Okay, so it is an uh, like map based application and we are providing that map as an offline map. Okay, in, in form of uh, vector types. Okay. So my question here is that like whenever like we have to update the map, okay. So what we do is that like we we have to make it downloadable to each and every like um, the uh, surveyor on on their mobile. Basically, it will get downloaded. So I am very much interested because this is a Raspberry Pi is on a device, okay. And like basically, if I can make this device available in this city, okay, so that like whenever like that network is available and the servers can use that, you know, like uh, offline map in their mobile application. Okay. So 
because you know as and when the map gets updated it, it will get reflected in their mobile application so i am very much interested what is an like area that get covered by this raspberry pi device um yes yeah, so like uh earlier uh in in terms of the area the like so now uh so this is a prototype so like this case so we already uh we installed the like region of the uh, kanto region in japan so kanto region is uh, like it's part of japan so like this tile data th this map data is 415 megabyte something so like so in this case we use the 13 2 gigabyte the for Raspberry Pi. So if you if you like if I do if I use the one terabyte or more uh big uh like SD card, we can uh we can use the like hollow over the world the map data. But like Raspberry Pi is not supported the one one terabyte or I think the uh maximum data format is the maybe 64 or uh, 120 uh, 120 or something so like so in 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 my opinion so like we can we can use we can so we have to select the lesion of the independent on the situation depend on the like uh like user Thank you so much. So the short answer is maybe it depends on the uh, the amount of the memory, but uh, we in sorry uh, I, yeah, we need uh, to choose the area. Okay, sorry. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, hidden area. Basically, like the city where we are working is uh, 181 square kilometer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say like if I have to deploy this, uh, you know, like uh, technology, how, how many Raspberry Pi devices I will be needing to deploy in this particular city? Uh, so could you say again, again, how many, what? 181 square kilometer. Um, so if you download one, one so this. Yeah, correct. Uh, uh, like it is depend on the region. So like mm -hmm. if, that this region have a lot of buildings, so this, uh, this map data is so like big data. On the other hand, so like this region have not buildings or some data, so maybe if uh, if the region is huge, but also the data, data is so light, so it is depend on the uh, like region a place. It is. It is correct. So you want to? Well, um, uh, my question is not getting answered. What I'm, what I'm uh, confused is that, like, I would like to know the coverage, uh, you know, like that is covered by the your Raspberry device. How much area is getting covered, so that that map is available, basically. Yeah. Yes. So, like, uh, we can like use one kilometer, two kilometers, something like that. Okay, 15 meters. Okay. I think Albert is saying like 15 meters. Is uh, that correct, Shogo? Was it a 15 or was yes. it different? Like, that's, my, that's, that's my earlier question, right? About like what's the range? <laughs> uh, <laughs> range basically, range. Yeah. 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 Is that right, Shogo? Yes, one zero is 15. Ah, okay. So this is a like connection range. Exactly. Yeah. Connection yeah, range. Yeah, right, right. right. Connection. I also just checked um, my Raspberry Pi. I have a 256 gig. <laughs> yeah, so, but it's the um, the Raspberry, I think, 4? Or it's the later, the, the newest mm -hmm. one, which is more, more expensive, for sure. Yeah, I have to check it. So, like, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And so, okay. Uh, oh. From my... Uh, please, uh, Albert, please. Yes. Uh, I was going to say, um, even if the range is limited, I think it might be um, worthwhile to talk a little bit about how you can talk to the like the cloud server to sync, like so kind of use mm -hmm. it as like a syncing 
um, tool when you're offline, when you're in an online environment, you can kind of, you know, expand the range to wherever you have connection. But yeah, yeah, uh, right, right. Like, Shogo, what, what, is the, what are your thoughts on um, kind of like that interface? Because um, mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was doing uh, mapping in India, uh, we used a tool called uh, Walking Papers. I don't know if you heard of that. It's an OSM tool mm -hmm. where you print out paper. With yeah, a QR right, code, right, 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 right. Right. And then you um, draw on it and then you scan it back in. <laughs> so I think yeah, that. Yeah, right, could... right, right, right. I know, I know that this kind of a situation, like, so like uh, India, some. Some country, some uh, like region, uh, basically, so we cannot connect the internet. So like, uh, yeah. we want to, uh, we have to use the, like paper maps, right? So in this situation, so we maybe so you want to be portable. It's not only for the disaster situation. Mm -hmm. So we can use the like like daily life situations. So, for example, use as you said, the like daily mapping name or something. So like. So my in my thesis, it's just only focus on the uh disaster situation. But uh, UNBD portable is like uh we can use the variety of the situation. So this is a uh so we want to the talking about the use case of the like UNB portable. So on the GitHub. So if you want to if you're interested in this uh, use case, over, please join us in discussion. Okay, and one more question from my side. Yeah. Uh, how many clients we can connect using the uh, Raspberry Pi? Uh, now I'm set the 180 devices. Was so a one Raspberry Pi can connect the 118 devices. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Thank you. Actually, Joko, sorry to interrupt. Uh, so does that mean there's, just thinking in my head, does that mean there's 180 devices <laughs> one in a 15 meter radius around the Raspberry? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, okay. so like it's so it clouded. So like, so maximal, maximal, maximal connection mm -hmm. devices is 180. Mm -hmm. Right? So like in this situation, it is so, it is, it is difficult to the like, uh, 50, uh, 50 meter uh the like the 118 devices it is so it is difficult to imagine that but like uh technically mm -hmm. so like we uh we set the 50 meter and 118 uh devices great okay okay thank you thank you mm -hmm. So there may, may be other restrictions like uh, the processing power of the Raspberry Pi or yeah, any other things, but uh, in theory or in technical uh, sense, uh, we can connect 180 uh, devices uh, to one single Raspberry Pi. That's great. Okay. So then maybe uh, it's time to move on uh, to the next agenda. So again, uh, thank you very much, Shogo, to uh, you. sharing uh, what you have. And thank you so much. Thank you. So, okay. Then uh, I'd like to move on to uh, the other part of this session. To share my screen again. And, uh, uh, do you have something? Or maybe, yeah, I can proceed. So I'd like to share uh, what is uh, going on in this community and what is uh, upcoming. Uh, on, I think, Monday, uh, 19th of July, uh, we have a documentation team meeting, uh, especially with Albert, and uh, we can, uh, we, we are going to share ideas about the documentation. We have really good uh, documentation site, but we, have just started, so we can discuss uh, what uh, should be documented and what is a great way to have more participants uh, to this uh, project. And if you want to join this meeting, uh, you can uh, register yourself uh, from this link. And uh, yes, uh, that is a documentation meeting. Do you have, Albert, do you have something we can, you, you would like to add? Sorry, I was just putting the uh, the links into the chat. Um, I would love to have um, the uh, some 
Indian contribution. <laughs> yeah, great, great, yes. uh, I think it'd be great to have either in, in Hindi or other languages mm -hmm. um, to expand. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Satosh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, well, you, you were asking that, like, you need some Indian contribution for this in Hindi. So definitely we'll support them to that. <laughs> That'd be great. Although, I, I know uh, English is, you know, one of the Indian languages that, you know, is adopted. But I think also Hindi would be great. And and maybe thinking about, um, like, the Indian, um, like, data sources, because I think uh, one of the topics that we want to think about including is a resource for, um, like, geospatial data, right? So the smart map groups that we are, are part of is about the tool and the data, so, and keeping them open. So yeah. um, I think that'd be great. Yeah. Currently we have, of course, English and the, the Japanese language. So yes, uh, I think it will be great if we have other languages uh, to this documentation website. Thank you. So, so that is a documentation. And the uh, 19th, we have, uh, this is a kind of local meeting, uh, Smart Maps weekly meeting. This is casual, casual, casual. So that means meeting and it uh, will be done in Japanese. So it's a kind of local meeting. And uh, yes, uh, from the next weekend, uh, we uh, some of us are going to FOSS4Z 2023. And as I said, uh, we have UNBT portable workshop and we have several presentation we can share with the UN, sorry, to the FOSS4Z community. So I'm happy to report uh, to you uh, after this uh, branch event. And in July 12th, we have a quarterly meeting of the smart maps. And this is uh, targeted for uh, peacekeepers and uh, other UN staff. And uh, so for that reason, uh, the meeting will be held in 9 a.m. in New York time and uh, 15 in Central Europe time, Euro, Europe, Euro time. And yes, uh, as I said, yes. Uh, yeah, I would like to talk about uh, what uh, will be uh, presented in the quarterly meeting. This is my uh, suggestion or my my suggestion, yes. Uh, so this is the aim of this quarterly meeting is to uh, meet with the prospective users rather than uh, like this developer community. So uh, I'm thinking about uh, we can uh, share uh, our smart map bazaar project and assistant project and documentation project. And uh, yes, my our question would be what uh, would smart maps community uh, should do to increase the applicability for the UN operations. So that is the aim of the uh, meeting in the 12th of July. Okay, that is uh, one big uh, event. And, oh, yes, yes uh, this is one question. So uh, this is a monthly meeting. So we have the record and uh, thanks to the help from Albert, we have created a YouTube channel, but uh, we haven't still uh, time to upload uh, that video yet. And uh, well, an additional thing, maybe we can, well, I, I just thought uh, maybe we can uh, share uh, uh, some um, record, uh, which includes uh, when it happened, who joined, and what are the presentations, and the list. Uh, yeah, list close. This is one. Well, well, right. Ah, okay. Yes. And we actually have some uh, information about the monthly in uh, GitHub. So maybe we can add uh, something here, and maybe that will be a record for the monthly meeting. So that is uh, something I thought for the monthly meeting. And uh, yes, next meeting uh, will be 21st uh, of July. And uh, I have uh, no idea about who should we come invite as a guest speaker. So if you have some input, uh, please let me know. Okay. Oh, okay. So maybe that's actually all from my side. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, maybe I, I do some mistake here. And yes, I would like to share with you some additional thing. That is a name card. To, 
for the Kosovo meeting, we have the community name card designed by Yuseki. And we are bringing this card to introduce ourselves uh, in Kosovo. Oh, something wrong, yes, anyway. So I just would like to share uh, this uh, card and yes, uh, please uh, share, uh, you, uh, use this if you uh, like to. Okay, uh, that is all from my side. And yeah, Albert, please go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I would like to maybe uh, recommend that for the speakers, we rotate um, countries. <laughs> so maybe perhaps you can have India, uh, mm -hmm. someone in India present mm -hmm. um, if That's there's great. anyone on call or, or Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, I see mm -hmm. we have a um, couple of yeah. so corn here. So, or, and it, 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 yeah. So any, any thoughts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Volunteers? Yeah. 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 Please. Santos, do you think uh, uh, we have the speaker from India, uh, maybe in July? Uh, I'm not sure about that, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But if uh, like, maybe like uh, mm -hmm. from our side in future, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe in future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can, I can ask uh, Ponsakon about uh, your, uh, thought. Ponsakon, can you uh, talk now or uh, you are just be able to listen? Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I can say uh, I, I let you know to the some event on mm. the Thailand in the uh, around uh, uh, September, oh, no, 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 uh, November, uh, November, uh, mm -hmm. in uh, two events, uh, as uh, mm -hmm. Boss 4G Thailand is coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, we got the state of map Asia. Yes, yes. Even I... in Thailand. So maybe I can, uh, I can. Uh, contact with you separately uh, to find out uh, what. Uh, uh, I think I think mm -hmm. the same in the same event in the same mm -hmm. event I uh, uh, same event period but uh, but mm -hmm. uh, separate uh, uh, but uh, separate uh, the organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yep. Thank you. By the way, mm -hmm. Ponsakon, are you coming to Kosovo for Phosphor G Global Event? Uh, I I think no, but I. I, I, I think no, but uh, I go to the Phosphor Korean, sure. Korean, yes, Phosphor Asia. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes. For, for sure, for sure, yeah. mm -hmm. Phosphor mm -hmm. Korean. That's great. Yeah, thank you very much for sharing. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, Sensei. Thank you, so, thank you so much. Yes. And, uh, do you have uh, anything uh, more to? Uh, I, 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 I'm asking everyone there in this session, do you have something to share with the community? Ah, yeah, Albert, please. Yes, thank you. So sorry, I have uh, so many ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, please, but, but for, for this group, I want to, uh, especially Shogo, like, because um, you're already in you know, University of Tokyo, um, I, I think, you know, one of the important things are for us is to help build the community. So, um, you know, any other like uh, students that you know, or mm -hmm. anyone on this call, if you know of a university, maybe past university you graduated from, I think it'd be helpful to um, get more people that, not to say younger people <laughs> to to uh, really make the maps uh very very cool but i don't know uh, i want to hear people's uh, ideas on that if that's you know any thoughts yeah i think it's really important to have uh, participants from younger generation uh, 
Taro, do you have something we can uh, you can share with the members? Yeah, so so I can help uh, to upload a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Technically, I was not able to download the record uh, from Zoom last time. But do you think uh, only the maybe some uh, privileged member can download? I, I can just see the video, but I was not download. Uh, oh yeah, video. only only I can download because uh, mm -hmm. uh, I I guess. If I let everybody download, then that's okay. Like, so if I let everybody I download, it's, then... it's no, there's no problem with that. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, Taro san, I will uh, send you right now in the Zoom. <laughs> uh, I'll mm -hmm. send you the credentials to access mm -hmm. the Zoom, I mean, the, the YouTube channel. Uh, so, like the, the Gmail account and everything. Okay. And anybody else who's interested, um, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's open source, all about open, yeah. right? So if you're interested in uh, video editing, mm -hmm. um, yeah. that would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much, Talo, for uh, volunteering about uh, YouTube. Yeah, great. Please invite me. Mm -hmm. uh, your account. Okay, yeah, yeah. We will. Yes, uh, we will try. Yes, we will do it. Thank you. So then I think uh, we have finished all the agenda items for the monthly meeting. So if you have, do not have any further questions, ah, the, Albert, maybe, yes, yeah, yeah, thank you very much for your oh, questions, sorry. Albert, please. Uh, for Kosovo, um, mm -hmm. like, I think we, we're still gonna do, uh, well, I'm not gonna be there, but um, the people who are going, is there gonna, um, there's still gonna be the off meeting, right? Yes, we are planning a kind of offline meeting in Tuesday, and uh, but maybe Wednesday, but uh, yeah, we are uh, thinking about uh, meeting uh, together, especially participants uh, from, uh, artists from I, we are thinking about inviting uh, our friends who is uh, joining uh, to the Kosovo meetings, uh, who are not actually in this community, but uh, in different uh, in different community. So maybe, uh, yeah, maybe uh, many of them are actually Japanese, but uh, anyway, we would like to expand our community. And uh, in addition, we are trying to expand our community by uh, meeting uh, the participant, maybe separately, and that is uh, our idea about what we can do uh, in Kosovo to expand our community. What do you think, Albert? Do you think you have another idea? Yeah, I think that'd be great. And I think um, hopefully by uh, FOS4G, we will have uh, the YouTube channel <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and a lot of other things so we can kind of build uh, the community and, and start. Like, I think um, one thing that is really exciting is that we're starting like everybody here is like, I think the beginning of the community that we can kind of build the network. Um, so I, I think it's exciting. Yeah, thank you about well, encouragement. Thank you so much. So maybe until the next uh, meeting, we can uh, discuss uh, at least on GitHub issues and uh, uh, we can use uh, other channels. And uh, again, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining, especially uh, I thank Shogo uh, for your great presentation. So see you again and uh, uh, have a good Roka time. Bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. Okay, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Shogo san.